to solve a camera in an untraditional way. We're going to do it through the object tracking node. So let's go into the video and see how to do that. In the geometry track, we're not going to track the geometry as is, as we've seen before. But here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to cause the geometry track to give us a solved camera. And let me show you exactly how it goes. What I need to do is I need to fetch the geometry that we created in the image modeling by clicking under the geometry here on fetch and then I have the object that I have created and click on close. So now I have to click on the mesh color if I want to change it or I can even use the render style to wireframe or hidden lines. By default when we're working with the geometry track, PF track assumes that we want to track a moving object. So if that's the case then we're going to have to tell this node that actually the object is not moving and what's moving is the camera. So if I click on all and on activate you'll notice that these trackers will come back into the geometry track and they will help us to have a better tracking geometry. So now that the moving object is being defined as a solid and we have the trackers also in the scene we can now click on the tracking forward and backwards and the reason we're going to have to track forward and backwards is because we're sitting on frame 90 and we need to complete the entire timeline so I'm going to start tracking backwards and then I'm going to go back to the same point of frame 90 and track forward for the rest of the footage. Before we continue forward let's take a quick look at our 3D space. So if I go here to this button here and I split my cinema view to the two horizontal viewports you'll see that I have the camera and the object within the 3D space. You can also see that the camera has the animation path in blue. If we bring back the ground you'll see that both of these objects are just floating in mid space. If that's the case, then the orient scene should help us. But before we go and work with the orient scene, we can also take a look at the curve editor of the camera. So if I go into the curve editor, I can see that the camera translations are very neat and clean, as well as the camera rotations. But I wonder if the results are going to be the same if we go through the traditional way of tracking and solving the camera. So let's go back to the tree view and see if we can pull off similar results in the old fashioned way. It is worth mentioning that because this object is somewhat in the center of the frame, then any kind of lens distortion that might be present in this footage will not affect it. So let's go into the next video and see if we get similar results when we're going to solve the camera in the traditional way. So we saw how to set up the object tracking node in order to transfer the object animation into the CG camera. But our work is not done yet, so let's jump into the next video.